dear students today we are going to discuss about the next uml diagram is a communication diagram in the last video we have discussed how to draw the communication diagram for a student enrollment and today i am going to explain how to draw the communication diagram for a train ticket booking so whatever we discussed in the student enrollment so few things it will be repeated for a train ticket booking and a few more objects we are going to add for train ticket booking first i am going to list out the list of objects for train ticket booking first it start from the customer and as a customer going to interact with the user interface here whatever that information is entered by the customer that information has to be verified right the next object is authentication module as a authentication module it will be authenticated that the customer information whether the username password is correct or wrong right so how that authentication module going to confirm that information with the help of database right so the next one database is the next object of our project and now i am going to create the list of objects for a train ticket booking right as a train schedule so here the train schedule is the first stage of ticket booking and the next one booking module so first as a user or a customer going to search the train so once the train schedule is confirmed we are going to book the ticket and payment is the next step the final process is we have to get the notification whether the customer booked the ticket successful or not right now i am going to give that message one by one as a customer going to log in into the system here whatever that information is entered by the customer that information it will be validated by the user interface and the user interface it's going to authenticate that information from that authentication module right okay now the authentication module alone we are not supposed to take a decision that information has to be verified from the database so as a customer is already successfully register whatever that the login credentials entered by the customer that information has to be verified from the database now the third stage authentication module it's verified that information with the help of database now the database going to give that the confirmation message to the user interface whether the login is successful or not right so this is the reverse message so till now we have used a forward message now from database to user interface i have used a reverse message it's sent from the database to user interface now as a user interface is going to interact with the train schedule so it means that as a customer going to search the train schedule that's the train details right now that the train schedule module going to verify that information from the database so here database is a plays a major role in all the process so whatever informations we are verifying or we are confirming that information it's always we have to check with the database right now the train schedule get that the train information from the database now the database gives that the reply message or the reverse message to the train schedule module so whether available train and uh, 
the schedule of the train details it will be written back from database to train schedule module right so this is the reverse message i have used to get that information to that customer right now as a train schedule module going to give that information to the user interface is i am going to use the reverse message so whatever we have searched from the database that information is displayed in that user interface right so then only the user can or the customer can schedule their booking right so how many trains is available what the timings and what's the source and destination everything it will be displayed over here now once the customer selected the train as a user interface going to interact with the booking module so as we know booking module uh, to book the ticket right so once we have scheduled the uh, that is a train and get the complete information about the train details as a booking module select the train and the book book the ticket now whatever we have interact with the user interface uh, that it has to be communicated with the database right now booking module it's forward the message to the database to create booking right so once that process is successful the booking confirmation message it sent back from the database to booking module right so this is the 11th step of our project now once uh, the booking is confirmed what we have to do we have to do the payment process right now from booking module to payment we have to do that payment process right as a make payment is the next step or the message it's going to communicate from booking module to payment module right okay the next stage once the payment is over that information has to be updated in the database right whatever the process we are doing each the stage that message has to be communicated with the database the reason is the database has to be updated then only the process it will be going to be successful right now the payment message it's communicated to the database what's the message i have used here to process the payment right now so after process that information then only we can get that the confirmation message right so after process the payment the payment confirmation message we have received from the database to a payment module right as a student here whenever you are using that the forward message or reverse message you have to be very careful how that message it's communicated with that object and whether it's a forward message or a reverse message right next stage once the payment is also confirmed we can come to that uh, the confirmation that information it has to be displayed in the user interface page right so payment result is the 15th the sequence of train ticket booking right so the successful payment only we can decide that okay the ticket it's going to be confirmed right so that information has to be communicated from user interface to notification module here send that booking confirmation message from user interface to notification module right so what's the next step we have to do that a uh, booking confirmation message has to be communicated from notification module to database right so then only we can get that ticket de ticket details right so here retrieve the cu customer information from the database right so as a notification module going to retrieve that customer information from the database
the final stage uh, again the database send that the final confirmation to the customer right so that is the final stage of our project now here the final message from customer to database right so first you are created that the diagram it look like uh, it's uh, uh, it's look like somewhat uh, it's very difficult how the message is started and how it will be communicated with each other so once you order the diagram and with the help of sequence number you can easily understand that how the object is interacted with each other and how the process is going to be happen right here so even though we have used around uh, 3 4 5 6 7 8 objects that sequence sequence number it gives a clear picture about how each the stage it will be communicated right so as a customer going to interact with the user interface now the user interface authenticate that customer information with the help of authentication module now the authentication module going to verify that information from the database and after successful verification the user interface going to interact with the train schedule get the information from that object and booking module is the next one once booking is confirmed we have to do the payment the successful payment that notification has to be communicated to that notification module as a notification module send the final confirmation message with the customer information sent back to that uh, customer right so this is the way we can create the communication diagram for any project right today we have discussed train ticket booking in the same way you can create multiple uml diagrams for your reference right i hope this information is helpful to you all thank you thanks for watching